Today we are tuning the Mark IV. We are doing a stage three build. Um, the customer has a KO4 installed with 550cc injectors. We're going to be installing a manual boost controller today. So here's the whole process of how it pretty much goes. Pretty much I load up the car. We go over the basics, make sure there's no fault codes or anything. See, no fault codes, the car looks pretty clean. So let's get straight into flashing the car. We use the basic program, F Moto, it doesn't take anything special to flash this car. We are not really too worried about having a battery maintainer on this car as far as flashing. Uh, if I crash the ECU, I could save it here. So we get right into it, start flashing it or flashing it. Might as well do the install of the manual boost controller. The best way to get these vacuum hoses off, get a small pick. Oh, look at that, ripped. I mean, that would have been a good leak there. Causing issues. We go back, here we go. This is to the wastegate. Pretty straightforward to see what connects to what. Almost there. Bang, bang. Okay. Uh, my tunes remove the N75, so you sh I would say simply unplug it, but uh, here you go. Simply unplug it. We'll zip tie that up, make it a little better. Now, here's what you guys get when you buy the manual boost controller from my website. Uh, customer went with red. So, you do get upgraded springs, uh, attaching hardware, um, a nipple if you need to. Comes with vacuum hose. See, we're gonna turn it all the way down just to start it out because we don't know what this thing's gonna do. So I don't bag it too much off, but um, it does not matter what direction you go with what one. So whichever way is easier for you guys, I'll zip tie these up because uh, look like they're gonna need a little bit. It's very important to make sure these hoses do not blow off, especially to the wastegate. But this wastegate has a crack out pressure of like stock is uh, three to six PSI, so. See how nice, that's a, that's a tight fit. That's, that's what we want. Other one's a little loose, cause boost issues. This is the pressure side. On normal, typical setups, <clears throat> the turbo has a nipple on it for the pressure side, because you need to see pressure. The pressure builds up and there is a ball and spring in here. So when it hits a certain pressure, it's actually gonna pop up and then bleed the boost off. So that's how you can control boost. So you need pressure, and you need obviously the wastegate side because it gives it the pressure to either bleed it off or hold the wastegate totally shut. Found a perfect spot to mount this up on. There's actually a pre-drilled hole here. So now we're just cleaning it up a little bit, uh, shortening the line. You don't want to really keep this low because the exhaust manifold right there um, these hoses are rubber, so not the best for uh, heat. You know, they're gonna start breaking, so.
just want to make sure these hoses, you know, are not wiggling around because if you cut that on the manifold, you're going to have pretty good boost, but uh, you might send a rod through the bottom of the block. Because this is a stock block on a KO4, which is safe as long as it's not too torquey and you're not on E85. E85 usually does the trick for uh, setting rods through the bottom. There we go. So everything's pretty tucked. There we go. So that's how it should look, guys, at the end of the day. Um, trying to make it clean as best I could. Things all done. Um, the flashing has finished up. I'm gonna press OK, which only took two minutes and 30 seconds, but key off probably for about a couple, a couple seconds. Never doing engine control module swapping, ECU swapping, or programming. You always want to adapt the throttle body. Some cars, when you put ECUs in, you know they kind of run like junk for the first couple of seconds, or even until you get it warm and adaption starts setting in. Throttle body adapted, done okay. Fault code zero in the N75 is unplugged, but it's tuned out on my tune. Secondly, I saw his math was plugged in. Now, this is a mathless tune, so we're simply going to unplug the math. There you go. Now, I'll show you when we start this up. There'll be no math code. So we're gonna go out for our base run. Um, we're gonna see the field trims, check over the data, 